So I am going to do a what I eat in a day video and this is my breakfast. Every morning I have a Zevia with a Lara bar. Peanut butter chocolate chip is my favorite. I also like peanut butter cookie, but I tend to reach for the peanut butter chocolate chip. And I know it seems like a very unconventional <laughs> breakfast, but it just makes me really excited to wake up in the morning and I have to wake up early to get the kids to school. So I am off the caffeine right now. So I'm having the caffeine free cola and this is gonna actually fill me up and hold me over for quite a while. Okay, so for lunch, I am having this big, huge smoothie. I actually have a little bit left in my Vitamix too. And I thought I would show you what I put in my most favorite smoothie of all. I can have this smoothie every single day. I try to mix it up, but I tend to always come back to this one. So I put in about a cup of water with half a cup of orange juice, or I'll do pineapple juice that they have at Trader Joe's. I prefer pineapple juice, but I'm out of it today. So I did orange juice. I did one banana, about a cup of pineapple, about a half a cup to a cup of mango. And then I do a few handfuls of this organic kale. And then for my extras, I add in a tablespoon of flaxseed and a tablespoon of chia seed. And I do a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of MSM powder. And then I sprinkle a teaspoon of bee pollen on top and then I just mix it into the smoothie. This is so yummy and tropical and really filling. So that's what I'm having today and what I have most days for lunch. So with my smoothie, I'm also going to take my vitamins right now. I thought I would just show you my vitamin lineup. This is the little pile right here. This one is a collagen builder. It's a plant-based collagen, so I love that. I take two of those a day. And then the PB8 is my probiotic. I also take two of those a day. The vitamin code D3, I take one of those a day unless my doctor tests it and tells me to take two, but most of the time I just take one of those a day. I also take the acetylcysteine, that is for my MTHFR, so my doctor has me taking one of those a day. And then these two here are the forms of B vitamins that I take. I can't take the normal B12 supplements because of the MTHFR, it doesn't absorb it but I can absorb this form right here. So I take one of the methylcobalamins and one of the methylfolates. And that is my vitamin routine most days. Some days I'll take the monolaurin and the wellness formula if I feel like I'm coming down with something, but for the most part, these are the vitamins that I take every single day. So this is what's for dinner. I made some quinoa and I made it with this low sodium vegetable broth cooked that up and then I made the salsa. So in here we have half a cup of black beans. I did about a little more than a half a cup of this organic corn. I did two mangoes and two avocados. I did one whole lime and half a lemon squeezed in there. And the recipe also calls for olive oil, but I'm skipping that and it also calls for cilantro, and I forgot that. Oh, and red onion. So we did about a quarter cup of red onion, and this is what it looks like. You just have your quinoa, and then you put this mango salsa on top, and it's so yummy. So that is what's for dinner tonight. Here is my after-dinner snack. It's about eight o'clock, I think, and I'm having this Earth Balance Vegan aged white cheddar flavored popcorn and it's so yummy. So I have about this much, I'd say it's about a serving and a half maybe. Here are the nutrition facts and the ingredients. So, I mean, it's not super clean and super natural, but everything in moderation and it's really good. So it's about 10.15 and I'm getting ready to head to bed but I've started incorporating this magnesium into my bedtime routine. So I take about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half in warm water, and it just helps with so many things. I've been doing a lot of reading about it, 
but it especially helps with getting a good night's sleep and rest and calm, as it says. It's kind of like a natural Xanax, probably not as extreme as a Xanax, but you know, it'll help calm you down and get you ready for bed and help you get a good night's sleep. So I've been doing this this whole week and I can totally tell a difference in how much quicker I fall asleep and how much better my sleep is every night. So you guys definitely should check this out. I got mine on Vitacost and you would be surprised from what I was reading, most people are deficient in magnesium and it can make such a big difference in so many areas of your health. So do some research, check it out. So that completes everything that I had for today. I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys later. Bye. I have a lot of stuff that has been sent to me or that I've purchased and I wanna show you what's coming in and what I'm trying out. Some of the stuff I've even tried, so if I've tried it, I'll give you guys a quick review and let you guys know what I'm thinking about it so far.